Good day everyone. Today's tutorial centers on how to import CSV file into our Postgres SQL using PG Admin 4. A lot of people say a lot of people say they, they always have error, they always encounter error when they when they try to import CS, CSV file. And we are going to tackle all that in this tutorial. So without saying much, let's get started. I have this, um, this is a data set we'll be using, it has a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, it has 13 columns. So let's go into our Postgres SQL the PG Admin 4 to get started. I've already created one um, database the other time, so I'll, I'll, I'll try and create another one. Let me create a database. Um, I'll call it CSV. I'll call it DB underscore CSV. is loading is it's um, take good I think it's 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 um it's, it's been created so this is it so now let's create a table create table so we're going to give it csv underscore table that's the name of our table and how many columns does our table have so, sorry does does our data set data set as a data set as 13 columns 13 columns so we are going to create that now so the very first one is sales id sales underscore id which is um, an integer, not null, that is not going to be empty. Then sales underscore rep, which is vaca, that's variable character. I give the size 50. The next one is emails variable character let's give the size 50 the next one is brands variable character as well make the size as well 50 <coughs> next one is plant cost plant underscore cost give that integer The next one is unit price. I give it integer. The next one is quantity. Sorry, let me break it down. So that you can see it. Quantity integer product cost product underscore cost. Then we have profit. Product underscore costs giving it an integer profit. I'm giving profit also an integer. Then we have countries. Countries, I'll give it variable character. Let me make it 50. 
Next one we have region. Give you variable character. And give you fifty as well. Next one months. Give variable character. Let me give you fifty as well. Then we have years. I'll make years an integer. Now let's 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 count. Let's count the number of columns that we just created. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Countries ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Now we have thirteen columns. So let's let's run our code. It's run successfully. Let's go and check our table. Check the columns. That's CSV tab underscore table. That's the name we gave to our table. Now. Now on, on on this on this note we, we we now want to import our CSV file. Right click on CSV table, import. Then you change this export. You change it to import. Then this ellipsis you click it, and you navigate to your to the location in which we have your. Um, you have your data set. This is my data set. Double click it. Then you check this header to yes because it has header. Then you change you check your delimiter to be semi sorry to be comma. Then after that you can now check these columns to be very sure that you have the same number of columns with this the same number of columns with your data set. If you count the other time we have we have a 13 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so with that you can click ok now our table has been successfully created you can click to, to check more details so it, it has copied 1047 data into our table so let's 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 check let's check whether we we, we we got it right or not we've been able to populate our table so let's write simple statement select all star means select all the columns from what's the name of our table um csv underscore table that's the name of our table. So let's run this and see if you are if you are good. It's loading. Boom. So this is our output. This is output. This is the output. So we are able to to load. Um, CSV file, you are able to import CSV file to populate our table. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. You can share with all your friends. Thank you. Bye for now.